what is up everyone this is screen here welcome back to tech Kirin youtube channel legion os the new update of legion os v3.4 is now available for the redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 s redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro users this room is kind of underestimated but the room is quite good in the terms of smoothness battery backup performance a lot more things and this video i'm going to share with you some things which you get in this legion os this one is i'm using the google apps base build we have two builds available vanilla build and google apps included i'm using the build with which have the google apps pre-installed so i'm gonna show you all those things vanilla build might have some little bit of things different or not different but almost same kind of things and talking about some features a lot more things in this video stay tuned make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started Okay, first of all the room comes with two variants as I previously told you it has the Google Apps build and it has the vanilla build both in my case I've installed the Google Apps build but the thing which you notice here is this is a Google Apps build but it does not come with the Google Pixel launcher pre-installed it's not the Google Pixel launcher but has almost same kind of features which includes the add app icons to home screen show Google app and other things we also have the hidden and protected apps feature where you can hide the apps you can protect the apps so you can say app locker is pre-installed here with the default for launcher so this seems to be really nice and working for some users we have some developer options if you know what you're doing you can do this one we have the gesture navigation sandbox where you can launch back launch home launch overview launch assistant a lot more things are available enable minimal device this is a very interesting kind of launcher which you get pre-installed but talking about the things which you get uh, let's take a look at the quick settings first of all and if you're taking a look here let me tell you one more thing you can see the ui here the ui is rounded this is not because of any kind of magic module or any kind of tweak it's available as a pre-installed thing and it has almost same kind of features like the msm extended but has a little bit of difference here we have this ui radius options available to customize so this seems to be very nice and same kind of colors which you get is which you get in msm extended but same things as you can see we have almost same things available and in my case bluetooth sector seems to be working as you can see i've also connected to my amaze fit watch so it's working fine here wi-fi is mobile data hotspot was also working fine so you got any major issues even you can enable the Wi-Fi and hotspot at a particular time so this is very interesting we have almost same kind of things and talking about the other tiles which you get here we have a lot of tiles sleep screen reboot location screenshot we have a very cool kind of options available fps info overlay tile is available now we have the high brightness like franco kernel options are available if you want to add it on your quick settings we have the xiaomi parts main tile option available we have the script one of franco kernel script 2 script 3 we have the option of choosing the ftp server it depends upon the third party tiles you can say or the apps which you have available like the xiaomi parts digital well-being franco kernel manager me explorer all those apps quick settings or uh, tiles are also available to add in the quick settings so this is very interesting let's take a quick look at the battery stats first of all you can see active drain 5.65 percent per hours and screen on is 9 hours and 12 minutes it's 42 percent battery still left and now we have more than 9 hours of screen on time which is very interesting idle drain is 0.38 percent per hour at overnight i got approximately of 4 percent of battery drainage or 3 to 4 percent of battery drainage which is okay okay some rooms does not even have this kind of battery drainage. some rooms does just drain your battery approximately one percent sometimes but this has three to four percent but that's okay that's not a big thing we have a lot of things and according to the performance the room seems to be really smooth we have other customers available which are quite smooth than this one i'm not saying it's not smooth but it's normal normal kind of smooth you can say Google Camera Go Edition is pre-installed and it does not come with any other ANX camera or Gcam's main edition. So Google Camera Go Edition is pre-installed. You can use other Gcam versions like Gcam 7.4, 7.5, 7.6. Also, we have the Gcam 8.1 option available. If you haven't checked out my Gcam 8.1 video, you can go and check it out. You can try to install that Gcam mode on in this room. Maybe that will work also. Other things, let me show you by going into Magisk Manager first of all. In my case, the Magisk version which I am using right now, it's taking time. 21.2 is the latest Magisk version is available, but I have installed the Magisk version 21.0. The Magisk manager is 8.0.4 and talking about the safeness status as I don't need to use the safeness status in case of anything. By default, safeness status is not passing, but we have the option of passing the safeness status very easily. I have a video on how you can pass the safeness 
if you haven't checked it out you can check out that one but we have almost a lot of things available if you want to pass a safety net we have a lot of fixes i will try to make a, another video very soon if we, even without that flashing that module will be able to pass a safety net status stay tuned for that one Going for the settings, one UI kind of look here settings, you can adjust these kind of things in legion settings. Let me tell you by going to legion settings, we have a new kind of UI available. Quick settings, status bar, theming, lock screen, notification, gestures, navigation bar, buttons, power menu, animations, miscellaneous and all those animated icons are available. So this settings UI is also changed which was I don't think so present in the previous build but now it's available here and you can also see the fonts which I have applied so far. This is Google Sense Medium which you can apply the fonts very easily without any issues and we have the options, same kind of options which you get in MSM Extended are now available here. Let me show you some little bit of more things. You can see my status bar. I have the Wo Wi-Fi option available. So which means Wo Wi-Fi is perfectly working. And you can also change these icons accordingly. But one thing or feature which I am missing right now is from here. This you can see cross sign with the network indicator. Or uh, this is the thing which I am which I am missing from here. You can see you'll not be able to hide this indicator which is called a disabled data indicator maybe i am not sure but this is the thing which i was looking for apps and notifications have same kind of things like this one is the android 11 based notification history feature is available my battery stats as you can see last full charge 25 hours ago we have the screen resistance full charge which means 9 hours plus of screen on time with still 42% battery left. So I could easily go past 14 to 15 hours of screen on time maybe not sure but it will easily go past and we also have the smart charging option available so some very interesting battery related things are available here other things are quite good. Display has the same kind of things talking about the brightness level adaptive brightness then styles and wallpapers if you go for the styles and wallpapers you'll be able to check out the default wallpaper we have the grid and clock option nothing else from here double tap to wake full screen apps dark dark theme and same we have the ambient display options available as you can see it's enabled by default i have not enabled this one but it's, it's enabled by default but other things seems to be disabled i've never tried but i was not looking for it because of course we have the lcd display sound storage privacy location seems to be same here security includes the fingerprint and face lock both app locker is not included but that's also not a big case other things as you can see fine security update is the latest december one so this is kind of really interesting interesting other things we have the accounts accessibility we also have the xiaomi parts included where we have the fps info overlay as i previously told you you can check out the fps according to you if you just want to you just need to click here and you'll be able to see the fps in your device we have the usb fast charge option available if you want to fast if you want to charge fastly with a usb cable and with the usb easily with your pc with your laptop then it's quite good very quite helpful for you other things are same here system includes the language gestures multiple users options available even includes the legion os updater if you're using an official build then you'll be able to update your device from here as you can see the otk update option available Legion settings includes many things. We're just gonna take a brief look at all these features one by one. Like quick settings has the same kind of things like auto brightness icon, brightness slider. It has a thing which I have, I think it's available like this. You can easily switch, you can easily you can easily increase or decrease your brightness by just sliding across to your status bar so this option seems to be really nice and working fine here we have the theming related customizations asin picker dark ui themes as you can see the option is available one ui show spacer above settings action bar for either use with one hand reset settings apps to take effect fonts customizations as i previously told you and this is the ui radius which i was talking about we have the option to customize this one other things are quite same here wait let me do one more things here we have tint quick settings label tint quick settings style icon bright or dark or gradient or same kind of theming like the msm extended custom room lock screen notification gestures navigation bar buttons power menu animations and miscellaneous includes only wake up on charge and same things are available all the things i've already shown you it is a very good kind of custom room with good kind of battery backup and also with some customizations this is all from today's video for install this just install a zip file and just reboot your device done thanks for watching goodbye